Hey, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Tushar Pingte and I'm a business analyst in Kailas. Today's uh, webinar topic is all about uh, round robin and we will look like uh, what is uh, round robin and how you can use round robin for reassignment of your leads uh, among your all sales executives. So I'm sharing my screen. First of all, uh, Let's take a look uh, what is round robin. So round robin is the fashion where in which all the leads. If you want all the leads should be distributed uh, equally among your sales executives, then you. Uh, set up a round robin uh, workflow and. Uh, in that way you're all uh, let's say you have uh, more than. Uh, 50 or. 100 sales executives among the organizations and you want that everybody uh, everyone should get equal number of leads and everyone should work upon uh, equal uh, number of leads so you can set up round robin so uh, in the kailas earlier it was uh, like uh, you can set up a round robin with the help of workflows so let me go through once how we used to do that if you log in into the Kailas, this is the dashboard that we uh, see first. Uh, there is a setting. CRM setting. If you go to workflows, you can create a round robin workflow in order to distribute all the leads that are creating in the system and you can distribute all the leads among your sales executives. OK, uh, we have uh, one article for round robin. If you go to our support dot kailas dot io portal. There is a one article. Name how to assign a leads to users in round robin mode. OK, this article is all about how you can set up round robin workflow. So earlier we used to do like let's say this is the round robin workflow that I have created. OK. Uh, I have selected an entity. I have selected a trigger preference that is immediate and when it's when the lead is created. Let's consider let's consider that uh, this workflow should get triggered for all the leads. I am not uh, setting any conditions for, for right now. And I have to select uh, webhook in in the action step. OK, if I go to webhook setting. I can see all the information that are available in the articles. So if you read the, so all the steps that you need to follow in order to set up round robin workflow that are given in the article. So I have created one workflow for round robin. This is the uh, URL that we have created in order to uh, execute this workflow. I have added a parameter like a look back window, lead ID, user ID and API key. Uh, if you see in the user IDs, I have given three different IDs of my users. All are actives and whenever if you see this, the entity is lead. So whenever the lead is created, it will be assigned among these three users. OK, and look back window is nothing but the number of dates, past dates for which you want uh, the all the Created leads will be assigned to this three users, and the API key is nothing but your authentication, right? So earlier it was possible through workflow, but now we have introduced uh, one marketplace application for that matter. So you don't need to create a separate workflow for that, and set all uh, add all the parameters for that matter. Okay, so uh, let's take a look how we can do that with the help of our new app marketplace marketplace application. OK. So in order to install this application called uh, routing engine, just. Visit the Kailas marketplace. In the all apps you will see the. Routing engine lead routing engine. OK, if you click on this I have already installed this application so I can't see the installed uh, CTA but if you are first time user you will see install CTA here. Once you install this application. You need to sign up for that application first enter your email address 
name and password let me check this e email id name and password and click on sign up for free once you click on sign up for free you will receive one verification link just uh, verify your email id and you are ready to go into the application just uh, enter your credentials and click on the sign in i have already signed in so i won't do that again uh, in, so once all this done you will see this application in your installed apps okay so there is a lead routing engine if i go to view details first of all it will ask me to enter my api key okay so where do i do i find it just i will go to let me start from first go to crm setting and there is a, in in the integration module there is a api key okay just copy this api key and paste it here and just save it so once this is done you are ready to use this application you just need to go to manage users if this is your first time you will see you are or a tenant's name only in the uh, table you just have to click fetch users and once you click on fetch users it will sing all the users that are existing your kailas account okay uh, it fetches all the active and inactive users you can see that uh, there are some of the users that are active some of the users that are inactive okay so you can only set this routing rule for the active users so i have uh, added these users if i go to and edit i can see the email role and name of the user and this is the kailas user id uh, of kailas users this is the same that i we used to uh, enter in the workflow when we used to uh, create a round robin fashion with the help of workflows so in this round robin engine routing engine we don't need to enter all the data manually it directly fetch the users okay once it is done and i have added my uh, all the users i can deactivate any of users that i don't want to uh, put in the round robin otherwise i can keep it okay so this was all about the managing users just click on the fetch users and it will fetch all your users from the kailas the second thing is that routing flow so you can set number of uh, rules for uh, routing the leads uh, that are coming ex 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 from the external environment of the kailas so you you just have to click on the add routing rule routing flow name a rule let's say round robin create a description anything by default uh, entity is lead because this is uh, for now this is uh, available for a lead and trigger event is entity create we will subsequently introduce uh, more uh, entities uh, in the routing engine and the trigger of tri we will introduce trigger preference as well for now at the initial stage we are supporting the entity create as a trigger preference okay so whenever a lead is will be created in the system will be flow flowing through these rules okay so i have given a name uh, entity trigger now i want to set uh, rules so i am cl click on uh, add routing rule i am giving a name let's say rule 1 or let's say rule for city it fetches all the fields available on my lead form fields so let's say this is the rule for city so i'm setting up as an example like city equals to pune let's say so whenever the lead is created and city equals to pune i want that this 
leads should be distributed among the Arjun Kharat and Amit More. Okay. So whenever the city equals to Pune, these leads will be assigned to either Arjun or Amit More. I can enter a look back window. So all the leads uh, created from the last one day, let's say yesterday, one is equal to yesterday. Uh, if I enter to then back to yesterday. So let's take it as a one. So this is the one rule, OK? Let's set up another rule. Let's say um, rule for source. I pick the source. And let's say source equals to Facebook. So I want that whenever a source equals to Facebook. I don't want to get those leads of the Facebook source want uh, to distribute among the uh, Amit Moria or Arjun Kharat. I want they. I want to distribute these leads uh, among Amit Moria and Tushar Viki, and that's it. I'm entering a look back window equals to one. So this is the rules that uh, rule routing flow that I have set. I can add multiple rules as, uh, rules as well. So uh, this is about setting a rule. I can activate or deactivate this rule, particular rule. Let's say I have created a routing flow uh, in which there are one, two, three rules and one of the rule I don't want to activate. I will select, I will just check this off or delete one rule and save it. OK, and this rule rules won't be. Uh, checked at the time of uh, routing the rules. OK, I have already. Created one of the rule. Uh, I quickly show you what is the rule. This rule is same. The name is just different. Uh, this is the routing one entity same the lead entity create. And rules are also same like rule is city equals to Pune. When the city equals to Pune, then just. Uh, execute in a round robin fashion with Arjun and Amit. Otherwise, when source equals to Facebook, distribute those, those leads among Tushar or Wiki. I'm saving this, so I have created a rule. OK. So let's uh, show you how you know, all the leads will be distributed among the, all the uh, users. So for now, I have a postman to show you how these leads will be assigned. This is my postman request I have created. Uh, you can see I have enter, let's say. Anand. This is the first name Anand and this is the last name Das. OK. I am sending a name Anand. At the red gmail.com and random phone number. OK. You can see, see I have entered city equals to Pune in this request. So whenever I send this request to uh, Kailas, it will check that if the routing rule will check if the city equals to Pune, then uh, execute it in round robin fashion. So let's first let me show you if there is no lead with the Anandas. OK. I send this request. Status is OK. It means uh, I have uh, uh, successfully sent the lead with the help of API. If I refresh this, you can see Anandas uh, lead has reassigned to Arjun Kharat. OK. But if you see the login user is to Sharping Day, right? So that means whenever the lead, let's show you the city as well. Can you see city equals to Pune? And that's why uh, it has reassigned to Arjun Kharat. Let me uh, send another request with the 
with city equals to Pune. Same request, but another lead. Okay, uh, lead are different. The information and email ID, phone numbers are different, but the city is same like a Pune. Let's send this request. And now you can see the Priyanka Mohanty uh, lead has assigned to Amit More. So this is how we uh, equally distribute all the leads. Like one lead has gone to Arjun Kharat, one lead has gone to Amit More. If I again sent a lead, let's say. Let's take a look for which user it get assigned. So again, Rao, Arjun Kharat. If I again send one of the requests with the same uh, city equals to Pune, it will reassign to Amit More. So that's how it will reassign uh, in a round robin fashion. One equals to one user, one for another user. So this is how it will uh, evaluate all the conditions that I have entered in the uh, round robin. In the log section, I can see that the lead ID and which was the first uh, old owner. It, it is uh, I am sending it with the help of API. That's why the owner old owner ID won't be shown here. But if this is coming from a Facebook or uh, any other sources uh, for which I have integrated with, then it will show old owner ID and new owner ID. So this is how round robin takes place. Let me show you if city equals to Pune is not there, then what happens? Can you see source equals to 31481? This is nothing but my source ID that is Facebook. Let me show you that also. If I go to my lead customization settings and lead form fields, there's one field called source. Source. And there is a one source called Facebook in the uh, routing flow i have entered one condition that is if the source equals to facebook and in order to fetch the facebook as a source i need to pass id as well in the request uh, if it's an integration then we don't need to map a source id we directly fetch by name but yes in if we are trying with the API and I need to pass uh, source ID as well and where I find it in the source. If I hover this, there is a 31481. This is the ID and in the request I'm passing those ID only 31481. And there is no city equals to Pune. So let's take a look uh, with which user it will get assigned. OK, the status is. 200. Abhishek Chavan, it has assigned to Tushar Bingde, which was in my routing rule. So it has not considered this rule as the city was absent, absent. But yes, this after this rule, it has evaluated this uh, condition and it has assigned to Tusha Bengte. Let's take a look for another lead.
the request is same i'm just passing a source id that is facebook tushar bingte it has assigned to tushar bingte because uh, if you see in the amit more as a user it has uh, in the uh, two different rules so already amit more has more leads that's why it's getting assigned to tushar bingte if i uh, add another users let's say now it has assigned to amit more so whenever the leads no matter whenever the leads are coming through different sources or um, the cities are different but uh, it still uh, assign the leads with equal, equal number of leads that are coming into the system so and if you see the source as well source equals to facebook so it is evaluating the second condition for different users if you go to the application logs this is the routing logs okay if you go over there you can see which leads uh, for which leads this routing engine has uh, executed its its job and if you click on the more action you can see the detail view like for which condition or which uh, rules uh, this routing engine has executed the job like the source equals to pune facebook for this condition it was executed if you go to earlier leads you can see the city equals to pune it was and that's why it has assigned to arjun kharat okay there are lots of information as well like uh, what was the value email source owners uh, every field that you have passed with the uh, request and you can see the number of loads like uh, how many leads were there for this user and how many leads were there with this user okay and uh, you can see the user selected for routing engine which users you have selected for this routing engine uh, for every created lead you will find a different uh, information in the more info means in load equals to uh, tushar and vicky has on, had only two leads and amit more had only three leads and that's why it had it had assigned two leads for tushar to balance out the number of leads and this is how you can uh, reassign all the leads in the round robin fashion among your all the sales executives the round robin is uh, robin is very important for those uh, users who don't want some of the executives take uh, too much load and some of the executives uh, get uh, less loads if you want to distribute all the uh, loads equally among your users then you can use round robin as a very important feature in the cr and that's why we have introduced this then uh, i think we can wrap up this session uh, thank you thank you very much for attending this webinar let's meet you on next wednesday